it's Anika here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and I'm happy to be back. So today I wanted to um, film a video because I wanted to really talk about how to stay positive during tough times and since we're actually faced here has been so so bad i wanted to really come on here and express some positivity excuse me if the light comes in and out but as you know i film with natural light so the sun today is out but there are some clouds coming in so excuse me if most of the time um so if you want to just express some positivity yourself just uh, stay here and enjoy the video so guys what i hear we've been through it's been such a hard one for everyone um this time actually for the first time in the history we're all on the same page everyone is facing a pandemic and everyone is having economic difficulties most people lost their jobs i'm actually one of them and everyone is having a hard time staying positive i wanted to to do this video because uh, somehow speaking to you it's kind of therapeutic to me so since i'm facing some hard times myself and uh, I have some personal issues going on. I wanted to come on here and uh, really try to come out with something positive out of this negative environment that we're living in. So I'm not going to give you tips because there are no tips. I think there are no tips to stay positive and to really work uh, out how to overcome this negativity that surrounds us. I don't think there are tips. There are only ways for you to really step into step into the light. I'm I'm personally a very positive person. I try to always see the good in everything I do and everything around me. But most of the time, and sometimes, especially during the last few months, in the past year really, staying positive is really struggling, even for a really enthusiastic and positive and outgoing person as me. I really wanted to, to really speak, to really speak out about these things because I don't see enough people talking about it. Struggling with happiness and struggling with stay positive is really, really hard. I've been facing a lot this past, this past year, actually these past few years, and somehow I always tried with the help of my family and my boyfriend and my strength to really overcome everything. But this year was the hardest one. Uh, because apart from the, the pandemic, I really, as Miss you saw, if you saw um, my previous video, I had some trouble with my job because I quit my almost permanent job that I had as a beauty advisor, and I really risked to start a new job, which I ended up not liking it, and I quit that job after just one week. And uh, I stayed home for a whole month since this summer we couldn't do much. And then at the end of the summer, I found another job, which I actually quit about 20 days ago. And you are probably thinking that I'm a crazy, I'm a crazy person because who really quits a job in these circumstances? But I know that it's really crazy, it might seem crazy, but I'm 28, I've been working for the past six years. I'm not a super experienced businesswoman or anything like that, but I know my worth. And if the place where I work doesn't really appreciate how I work, it doesn't really pay me the way I should be paid, not because I'm saying it, but, it, but it's just like that, I won't stay there. 
and I encourage to do you the same because uh, I studied, I have a degree, I've worked for the past years, so I think I'm in the position to really, I'm not going to say um, that people have to pay me a certain amount of money, but I should be paid the right amount of money for the degree that I have and for the knowledge that I have, for the experience that I have. And I'm not saying this because I feel like better than, every, than everyone else, because I'm not, but I know how much I, I've sacrificed to get where I am and to have this knowledge in this position and I won't take myself for granted. And uh, so that, that's basically why I quit that job. It wasn't, I wasn't doing what I wanted to do and uh, I decided to really take this time uh, differently than the other time because last time when I, back in August when I was at home, I wasn't feeling great. I was, I would say depressed. I know it's a really hard word and, but that's actually how, I, how I felt and I'm not facing this time like that anymore because I overcome that. I know it's difficult and I know it will be hard to find another job that suits me and it will, it will be hard to find another, another job really uh, under the current time that we're living. But I'm trying to really stay positive and I know that things will get better. The thing is, if you really enter the loop of negative thoughts, you won't get out of it. It's really, really hard. It happened to me in the past few days because I was really preoccupied for my grandma because she's getting older and I'm scared to lose her. She's the last grandma that I have and I'm really so connected with her. And they really give me so much anxiety and I actually never experienced anxiety like that. And it's such a bad feeling. And I was, I tried really to zone out a little bit and say I'm stronger than my anxiety. I won't let my anxiety tear me apart. And um, the past few days I've been feeling slightly better uh, and uh, that's why I wanted to come on here and speak to you and this really is helping me and I hope it will help you too. Staying positive is really really hard especially around these times but I feel like we have to do it. We are constantly bombarded with bad news and everything that is going on on the world but the light the sun really will shine again and we have to think that i know it's really it's easier said than done believe me i'm struggling too but i feel like we really have to come together especially right now being together really knowing the importance of your family and your loved ones and staying closer together, it's, it's really the key to everything and it will always be. I am so happy because I wanted, to, I wanted to film this video at least a week ago because that's when I started to really feel a little bit low with my mood and everything like that, but it didn't feel right and I didn't feel it because I don't want you to see me struggling or sad excuse me there's a siren talking about staying positive it's really close by okay hopefully she's gone now okay so I didn't want to really uh, let you see me struggling or sad, but I actually didn't feel I didn't have the motivation to come on here and speak to you So I just waited a little bit and felt a little bit better, which I do now and I want to really spread the positivities guys We have to stay strong during these hard times. I'm sure you're struggling with something in your life and I'm sure that it won't be easy and it's not easy and it's never been easy unless you're born lucky, but I don't know. I, 
firmly believe that you create your own luck. And I'm not talking about money. I'm really talking about really focusing on the good and work for that. There, there's no such thing as luck. Sometimes, yes, you might happen to be lucky. Yes, but most of the times, the people that are classified as lucky are the ones that didn't give up. They work harder towards their goals. And I don't know if I ever mentioned this phrase before, these quotes, but uh, this quote, but it's, it goes like, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. And that's actually where I am at this point. I really don't know my way and it's okay. I know I'm getting older, but I'm really taking this time off to really understand what I really want to do. In my 30 before 30 video, I said that I wanted to create my own business and that's actually my end goal. If I find a job and which I'm still actually looking, I will take it as long as it really meets glitch, but the ultimate goal is really having my own business. And uh, if I start doing that process this year, I hopefully I will. We'll see about that. But I really firmly believe that that that's my way. I'm sure I'll do a series about that. More. And I'm really enjoying doing these kind of videos. When I started this channel, I really, I had an idea in mind. I wanted to talk about fashion and beauty and lifestyle and all that. But I feel like I really enjoy speaking about life and things that I struggle with and uh, things that I'm really enjoying watching at the moment. And I feel like I can give my own imprint about it. I'm sure I will really show you what I buy and my hauls, but they will always be realistic and all that. But I feel like I really enjoy speaking heart to heart with you and exchanging life experiences, the struggles with my job and that I'm sure you can relate and really giving you hope and exchange positive vibes. And that's really what, it, what, what I'm doing at the moment. And I hope you do too. Being new sub subscribers, so thank you guys for joining this little family. I think that's it, guys. I know this video was a bit random and I actually didn't have a proper scheme, but I usually do of what I want to say, but I wanted to be I wanted to be raw and realistic and I hope you enjoyed. You can really um, I don't know, find some positive out of it. Don't forget to subscribe and keep growing with a little family and I wish you all guys love and health. See you on my next one. Bye.